me and Achilles challenge today is to fix this Range Rover Evoque built 2021 so L551 built from 2019 to 2025 what's the problem is Kill? it's a DC-DC converter is well after we run the diagnostics but the engine starts and we have no charge from the alternator so let's see what we scan it what exactly we found Welcome to OGS Mechanics Workshop. Here we fix all types of cars, electric cars, combustion engine cars. Follow me for interesting jobs from our workshop translated in videos. So we do manage to start it. This is a mild hybrid, meaning it has a combustion engine and it's a mild um, hybrid because it has a uh, 48 volts battery. So quite a small battery. It does regenerate charge from the braking. Now, on a startup, if we manage to get it started, let's see. Yeah. We have um, quite a few errors with the particulate filter, but that's in, this is something separate. Now, our issue here is that the battery light stays on and we have no charge. Um, now, this DC-DC um, inverter, what it does, it's, um, oh, hold on, hold on. So what the DC-DC inverter does, let me see, let me get out. <laughs> Basically, transform the current from the 48 volts battery into 12 volt battery. Although the car has also a 12 volt battery normal alternator, uh, but still, for some reason um, it's not charging. Now, when we scan it, we've seen um, this error, which is, says that the converter um, it has an electronic uh, internal failure. Now, this is how the parts looks like. And it is fitted under the car where the high voltage, I mean high voltage, the mild voltage battery is fitted on. So we're gonna get up on a um, ramp where we disconnect the 12 volt battery so we are ready to go okay dokie now being a mild hybrid the um, the battery uh, the 48 volt battery um, difference than the high voltage systems doesn't have a service plug so we are ready to get on and work on it pretty much straight away the battery is quite a big long thing not so wide but we'll see in a moment not as big as on the electric cars or some full hybrid cars because the battery is only tiny um, but there's control units and a lot of wiring and the casing is is a lot bigger but let's see it from underneath perspective Sorry. Now, with the car up in the air, the plan is that we're going to remove this box here. Although it's not the ideal ramp to do so, but this is the only workplace that we have today. The other ramps are, are blocked. It's going to be a bit hard to access those bolts. Mm. Yeah. It'll be all right. Yeah, and then we should have enough clearance to drop it. Yeah. We're going to drop the... Yeah, we need to use the same like to pull pipe. Yeah. Anyway, this is the plan. To drop the all the casing, strip it, because the box that we have to replace, this inverter, is located. This part is located somewhere here in the front of the car. So let's get off. Hopefully this is also going to fix the problem. We're not certain whether there is anything more to it, but the error says there's an internal fault within this unit. So we need to have it off, replaced, coded if it needed. Uh, we're gonna see after we scan the car and then test to see if whether the 12 volt um, system is gonna be charged afterwards.
let's see the big battery of the Range Rover. Does it come apart? So within this box, here are the components. This is the 48 volt battery. If you think about, it's not big. And here we have two coolers, two tiny coolers. So one for the battery and one for the DC-DC inverter, which is our part that we have to replace. What is this? Yeah, yeah, we need a screwdriver to take the plug off. And the 10 mil. Here's positive and negative, and then probably the connectors are the output and the input. The one that brings the energy in, and the other one that goes out. Uh, okay, so let's see. Let me just see where we're going to have power in here. When we work in there, we're not going to have any electricity. Can you cover it up with? You can have the high voltage caps. Yeah. Gonna check a few things. So first of all, we want to see uh, if we can measure the voltage in here. I'm pretty sure we might not. We might need to take it off because it could be a situation that this is this is discharged. Although our error it was only with related with the control unit, we had no error related with the battery. We had no error related to the battery, no? Okay, no, no. because on the Audi, if the, if the alternator stops charging, this battery gets discharged, and until we charge separately the 48-volt battery, we can't charge the car. We, can't, um, we don't have the alternator charging, so let's hope that is not going to be the case. We have no errors. We're going to put it like that, because it's... Uh, Otherwise, we have to dismantle it. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. The fuse is good. Okay, let's just do our job. The resistance is fine. So let's just replace the control unit. This is the DC, look at the cooler. So it's just a bit of control in the bar, rest is cooling, so imagine it gets hot a lot. New part. Here, yeah. same part number. 227 AD, AD. Identical. Maybe it's gonna be a super session on the components. What else? Ah, we have some sensors. Which one of them? The wiring? Okay.
that's interesting. Is your super session? Will it be different or just the same? So that's about it. Yeah? Bring the place. Not much of a battery in here. <laughs> if we compare it with the full electric one, isn't it? <laughs> oh, all done. Just one more thing. The last touch up. Let me set this, okay. I think from here they should be all done up, but just give it a bit more. So this gets connected straight to the car. Uh-huh. No way, he's just under the seat. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> okay. You just remove the seat then. You have to get the yeah. seat off. How are you gonna secure it from here, no? Yeah. Which? This at the back? A cable. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here. Module installed. Battery back on the car. Is the time to test? Will it work straight away, or will it need any programming? We're gonna find out soon. <laughs> We need to connect the 12 volt battery, don't we? Hmm? Ah, and a couple here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you see, there's a. <laughs> we have to get through the. Through the seats. Is it done? Yeah. Okay. Do we have enough battery to get it started? Can I start? It's from the... The alternator light went straight away. Can we measure the battery, the charge? Okay. Seems good. Let's see the charge. Oh, it's there. What we want to see is anything about 13 volts, above 14 volts. So, let's see. 14.56, woo, it does work. So that's pretty straightforward. Then we can lift it up, install everything back, put everything here, do a run test, and we're still gonna check for software updates if they have. We're gonna clear all the errors, but it looks like uh, we're nearly done.
This is charging now. Good news. Just to wrap it up with few covers in place and we're gonna have it out in a drive test. Just one more thing is to check for any software updates that uh, might be available. We're gonna do them also in the same time. So soon it's gonna be out. Software update has been now completed. This Range Rover already been in a road test. We've got the battery light out. Vehicle is faulty. Well, just a part of the inspection. But this is another issue, which has to be done. But we have made this car charging now. So the 12 volt, uh, volt uh, system is now operating and the car is ready to go. It's gonna go to the customer and I will see you in the next video. Stay close for more video about car repairs and cars in general. I'll see you next time.